Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless his holy name. His name is El Shaddai, our all-sufficient one. Glory be to God, glory be to God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Be holy, be perfect community. I pray that you have enjoyed, uh, not just enjoyed, but have uh, received uh, some form of, of encouragement and learning of application of the word from Romans chapter 6. We will finish up Romans chapter 6 in this lesson, but I pray that you will, no, I, I charge you to go and study, study Romans chapter 6. It will be a blessing and it will be a great, great deliverance and a newness in life will come if we would just study and meditate on this word. It is so uh, filled, just like Colossians uh, is so filled with the revelation of knowledge of God on how he wants us to live and how important it is for us to understand what it means to be in Christ, not just in Christ, but in Christ in his death, burial, resurrection, and ascension. And as we are seated with him in heavenly places, as we learn in Ephesians. So learning these things should encourage us to behave in a much, much different way. So let's get started. Let's get started. Yes, Romans Chapter 6, verse 1, what shall we say then to all these, this? Are we to remain in sin in order that grace, favor, and mercy may multiply and overflow? And uh, the King James Version, he say, are we to continue in sin that grace may abound, that grace may abound? So uh, some people li love living in the monk, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about how to get out of the muck and stay out of the muck. And we do that by being in Christ Jesus, responding to God's word, responding to the Holy Spirit in obedience. Remember, obedience brings life, not just life here, but life eternal. And when we want abundant life, then that abundant life comes through Christ, the anointed one, our Messiah, our Messiah, our Lord, our Savior, and of course, our Redeemer. Let the Redeemer of the Lord say so. Let the Redeemer of the Lord act like it. Let the Redeemer of the Lord be like it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, certainly not. How can we who died to sin live in it any longer? How can we keep stumbling around uh, in the muck of sin? No, that's not what the Lord wants for us. He wants us to live under the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus in Christ. How do we get into Christ? How do we get into Christ? Number one, we must do what Paul say. We must die with him. And how do we do that? We simply by faith, by faith, act on the baptism to be baptized into Jesus. And we can say, Father, baptize me into Jesus in the name of Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit with the precious blood of Jesus Christ and have faith in that. Have faith in what uh, you say. Don't repeat after me. Let the Lord move on your heart and say what you need to say for your uniqueness uh, and the situation uh, that governs you uh, in your relationship with the Lord. Let the Lord, let the Holy Spirit put the words in your mouth that you may say them that they will be pleasing to the Lord. Romans Chapter 6, verse 19, I am speaking in familiar human terms because of your natural limitation. Mm. For as you yield, for as you yielded your body, for as you yielded your bodily members and faculties as servant to impurities and ever increasing lawlessness. So now, now 
Now, make a change here. Now, yield your body, bodily members and faculties once, once for all as servant to righteousness, right being and doing, which leads to sanctification. See, we can say that we sanctify, but if we're not in right standing with the Lord, if we're not right being, being right right now, and doing right, doing right according to, to the word of God, being obedient, which lead to sanctification, we are not sanctified. And that is the word. We can look at it, study it, and understand that we need to confirm to the word of God and not to uh, some uh, craziness that people want to say and talk about contemporary living, changing the word of God, and all this madness. No, we need to look and see what Paul is saying. And this is why sometimes people don't understand. He said, I am speaking in I'm speaking in familiar human terms because of your natural limitation. And what do you mean by natural limitation? Because you are not filled with the Spirit of God, because we are not yielded to the Spirit of God, and we will not allow the Spirit of God to teach us and to guide us and to impart to us the revelation of the Word of God. Every scripture is God breathed. Every scripture comes from the breath of God. So we must have the spirit of God in order to receive the breath of God from the word of God. For as you yielded, you yielded past tense, past tense, your bodily members, faculty, your arms, your limbs, your legs, your mouth, your eyes, your ears, and uh, as servants to impurity, to sin, and ever increase in lawlessness, now yield your, bo your bodily members and faculties uh, once and for all. Once and for all, just commit to God. Turn to God and leave it there. Don't keep going back, uh, being sick and saints. When we're disobedient, we create a crime scene, and we do not want to do that. I know you. <laughs> I know it's a crime scene. Disobedience is creates a crime scene. When we're disobedient in that crime scene, guess what? The what the correctors of the lawlessness and the lawlessness, what the consequences is coming. Yes, 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 it will come. Paul is saying, I can't talk to you because you are still babes. You won't grow up. You won't pray. You won't fast. You won't study the word. You just show up for service on Monday, uh, on Wednesday and Sunday, sometimes never on Wednesday, but on Sunday, and think that I can teach you, disciple you in one hour. Impossible. Romans 6, 20. For when you were slaves of sin, you were free in regards to righteousness. What do that mean? It means that when we continue to sin, we're free from righteousness. Righteousness have no place in our life. We're not bound by righteousness. We're not bound by doing right. We're not bound in right standing with God. We are not in Christ Jesus. No, no, no. We're free from that. See, free, he's telling us that if we want to be in Christ, we're going to have to accept being bond servants of Christ, being under the law and the government of God understand that. If we want to be free uh, from sin, then we will become bond servants to righteousness and holiness. See? See what the Lord is saying here? Romans 6, 21. But then, what benefit return did you get from the things which you are now ashamed? Oh my God. People, look. If you don't feel ashamed about being had naked, if you don't feel ashamed <laughs> about the profanity and all this garbage and perverseness that come out of your mouth, uh, look, something is wrong. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. God is holy and he is pure. He's not profane. So, and he said, none for the, uh, uh, aren't you ashamed? Not for the end of those things is death. Don't you know that the end of all this mockery, all this profanity, all this cursing, all this lawlessness, all this immorality, all this sexual perversion, all these things only lead to death. Only lead to death. He is very clear, very clear. So we have to choose which road we want to uh, continue on. What journey, what road is going to teach 
take us to the journey of being created in the image and likeness of God, or which are the road that's going to take us to sin and death. That is, that, that's, that, those are the two choices that we have. Those are the two choices. That, that's just it. You know, when we sin, we are crooked. When we are habitual sinners, we are crooked. We twist it. And what? We stand in, in a coffin. We stand in, in the death grave. Uh, leading away from Christ. Christ say, I am the life. I am the light of the world. I am life. I give you life, and that life I give it to you in abundance. Not death, but abundant life. So when we sin, we're twisted. Yeah, we're twisted. We commit, create a crime scene. We may not like it, but that's what it is. We may not, uh, I can't say we don't want it because, you know, those are choices that we make. Those are choices that we make. Every choice that we make, we should stand before God and say, Lord, help me to acknowledge you in all my ways uh, that you may direct my path. Direct my path to the path that will lead to you and to everlasting life. You know, that's what we should say before we go off and do something that uh, is against God, which is disobedient. Romans chapter 6, 22. But now, since you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, oh, so you're what he says, you have become slaves of God, you have your present reward in Holiness. What? So what's the reward? The reward is holiness, and it is an eternal life. Now, let's go back. Let's back up here a little bit so we get what he said. He said, but since you have been set free from sin. So if I'm set free from sin, listen to what I'm saying. If I'm set free from sin, sin has no power over me. Sin does not have dominion over me. Sin don't run my life. Uh, that means what? That means what? that I don't have to sin. Sin is a choice. Sin is something that I give. I surrender my members, my legs, my arms, my eyes, my mouth to. It's not something that the devil make me do. It's not something that another person make me do. That is my choice. That is my choice. And he go on to say, he said, look, he said, you have been set free from sin and have become the slaves of God. Yes the slaves of God. You're not free. <laughs> yeah, you're not free. Yeah, you're not free. Yes, there is liberty in God. It's liberty in God as his slaves. That's it. <laughs> the liberty that we have is as a, is set in the parameters of what God has set. And the only the reward that we get from being slaves is holiness. So if we want to be holy, we're going to have to become slaves of God. That's that's how it is. And that's the problem. People don't want to be slaves of God. They like being the slaves of uh, under the law of sin and death. That's just how simple it is. We can change when we want to change. And if we can't, then God, he has the power to change us if we ask him to, if we submit to his rule, his government. Now, we can say a lot of things. We believe God for a lot of material things, but we don't believe that God can make us live right. Something is wrong with that picture. In Romans 6, 23, for the wages, for the wages, for the wages, King James Version, I'm used to, uh, I learned this scripture, the, for the wages of sin and death, okay. But the free gift of life, the free gift of God is eternal life. Now, what is he saying? He's saying here, for the wages of sin is death, the consequences of sin is death. But the bountiful free gift of God is eternal life through, what? Through, in union with Jesus Christ, our Lord. See, he says, Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Mashiach, the anointed one, our what? Our Lord, our Adonai, our master. Yes, our king, our king of king, our prince of peace. See what he says? So let's not, let's not be confused with a lot of uh, scriptures where people just go from random uh, books, give you like 45 scriptures, in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Total confusion. Don't explain any of it. Uh, you know. 
We want to be in Christ. We want to live a holy set apart life. We want to be clean. We want to be purified. We want to be who the Lord say we are and should be. We want to look like the body of Christ when he returns. The Lord is not coming back for somebody that's trying to get it right. He's coming back for the people have gotten it right. He say, and what? The overcomers. He's coming back for overcomers. Overcomers that are living according to his word. That are living in right standing with him, in right relationship with him. That's who he's coming back for. And that is the encouragement. Here is this. Here is this. Is that he has already done the work in us. We have to believe that the work is done. That it has been completed. I pray that everyone that listened to these uh, teachings. That they come in, that we come into the full knowledge of God. To the full knowledge of our Savior Jesus Christ. And that we he will reveal to us that we can be holy. That we can be perfect. We can live according to the word. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord keep you from stumbling or falling into the only true and wise God, El Shaddai, our Adonai, our King of kings, our Lord of lords. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.